Where do we go when we die? Well, of course, religious traditions have a variety of answers to that. What the Catholic tradition says is at the moment of death, we have or we experience what's called a particular judgment. Uh, our souls are separated from our bodies um, and we're judged on the basis of our actions, on the basis of our love and charity during life. Well, my belief is, and I think it's consistent with the Catholic tradition, is that once we pass beyond the veil, everything will be revealed. Not only everything about creation, but everything about ourselves. And so in one sense, then, you could say that death is one part of that process of self-discovery, a self-discovery where we finally move to fullness and consummation of all our hopes. I think knowing or believing or hoping for um, an afterlife allows us to let go of those things that prevent us from realizing who we truly are or who we truly can be. The Catholic tradition primarily wants to emphasize individual responsibility, individual responsibility for our actions, both good and bad that our own individual actions aren't just about us. Uh, they're not isolated. They instead uh, ripple out, shall we say, uh, not only to affect other people, to draw them to us in love, but also affect the cosmos. And so in that sense, we as human beings have far more importance when we look at the afterlife and the prospect of passing through the veil than if we say the life that we live is all that there is. The idea that death is something that uh, is an inextricable part of human life is something that's very challenging. It's a very, in some ways, painful idea. I tend to, however, think of death much more as part of our growth, our spiritual growth, um, seeing from birth through death to union with God. As I've gotten older, the image that, that really comforts me is Jesus meeting me and just hugging me and saying, I know, I understand. Um, so that's the image that stays with me uh, and consoles me in those times when uh, life seems overwhelming and the prospect of death seems even more frightful.